Just one moment while I sync up both cameras. Hello, my HDF friends. Give me two seconds. Going live. Greetings, unsettled souls. Go! Welcome to The Correct Views. It is Sam I.B. the Ganji during political commentary for The Media Speaks. Low def going live there, media speaks, high def up there. How is everyone? It is time once again for the Master Fukushima update. Kind of letting people trickle in for a second before we get started. And I want to remind you guys something. Um, I know a lot of us are saying that this is listener supported, but YouTube does not allow most of the videos that I do on Fukushima to be monetized. It's because they don't want you to know the truth. I source everything. They don't have any truth to counter it, but since GE and so many big names are involved, they tend not to let people like me monetize our videos. That means the only way that we make any money off of it at all is from you. So if what you're going to learn and hear from me today is worth anything, then I would ask you to please consider donating at thecorrectviews at hotmail.com. You can donate through PayPal. Um... I'm also, uh, ad space is available on the show. Let me know if you have a charity or a business or a company or a band that you would like to promote, and I will promote you on here, as you have seen me do with the Seacrest. Um, and we're going to get started, friends. It's the massive Fukushima update, and uh, you guys have been waiting for it for quite some time, I'm sure. Uh, it, it, it's, it's always hard when... When you're dealing with something that a lot of people tend to gloss over, for instance, uh, the level of magnitude when you're talking about North Korea. And we're going to get to news about Fukushima in Japan. Fear not. Just hear me out here. If Kim Jong-un so much as sneezes on Fukushima and any of the damaged buildings or reactors were to fall, he wouldn't need a nuclear bomb. We don't even have nuclear bombs strong enough to compare to what that would do. The only difference would be it wouldn't be done necessarily in the initial blast. People think of, uh, of a nuclear explosion. They tend to think of this huge... <sighs> okay, well... This doesn't have to happen. All that has to happen is this. It just needs to fall down, friends. And what gets thrown up in the air will still be all of this. And it'll have the same effect. But there'll be a lot more of this. Due to how much nuclear devastation is actually stored at Fukushima. So keep that in mind when I go ahead and mention this to you. I'm going to um, go to screen share. Those of you up there on the uh, high def will be able to see it behind me. This is going over for those viewing live. Here we go. No sign that North Korea is ready for talks, it's according to the State Department. Now see, this is worrisome because uh, Rex Tillerson is an amazing individual when it comes to prowess at his job. He, he looks about as nice as a, a pit bull with a bad tooth, but when you listen to him talk, he's actually very diplomatic. And <clears throat> if anybody would be able to bring some kind of peace to this, he would be one name that would come up. So this is particularly bad news. The State Department on Saturday said officials, this is on MSN, in the North Korean regime are showing no signs that they are ready for talks about denuclearization, walking back comments Secretary of State Tillerson made earlier in the day. The State Department said that U.S. diplomats do have open channels for communicating with the North Koreans after Tillerson said during the visit to China Saturday that the U.S. is probing talks with North Korea. Well, that's not mutually exclusive. I love how the media goes after Trump no matter what he does. Um, probing means that we are, not that kind of probing, says that we are trying to put feelers out, so to speak, to see if peace can be achieved through talking. 
this sometimes can be a problem with North Korea because they're extremely addicted to this idea that their leader is like a god. They literally teach that he was born under a double rainbow. Now, don't stop and listen for a second. Just like you know that air is made of oxygen, just as you know H2O is water, they know that Kim Jong-un is a god. He's a god. And that's kind of what we're dealing with here. The other problem is, and this is kind of a mistake, the government goes into it saying that there has to be a denuclearization first. Well, that's not going to happen if you're trying to negotiate a denuclearization by going into the talks. That always frustrates me when they do that, but uh, we will go with it. It says, Tillerson told reporters that the U.S. government and North Korean government have direct communication about the new North Korea's nuclear program. I'm sure they do. The State Department issued a statement, though, later in the day, saying that North Korea doesn't appear ready to talk or negotiate. Well, he never said they did. He said he was probing. <clears throat> U.S. diplomats, they were, have several open channels in which they can communicate with officials within the North, Re North Korean regime. It's according to the State Department spokesman Heather Nuret. Uh, she said it in a statement, despite assurances that the United States is not interested in promoting the collapse of the current regime, pursuing regime change, accelerating reunification of the peninsula, or mobilizing forces north of the demilitarized zone, North Korean officials will show no, education, inter no indication that they are interested in or are ready for talks regarding denuclearization. Well, the U.S. is going to have to, at some point, figure out how they're going to handle this madman. And I'm not sure that Tillerson's doing such a bad job here. But those are all topics which would surely need addressed. If we're going to have any kind of chance at peace here at all, Tillerson said that President Trump has issued no red lines <coughs> on North Korea and suggested an atmospheric test by the state may not necessarily evoke a military U.S. response. Um, well, I mean, yeah, because, I mean, if we've already got enough nuclear uh, detonations going off in the air, uh, you don't want to make it any worse. So, I mean, at least in that, we agree. That's pretty much the North Korean update here on that. I, I do want to say, though, that you can't stress enough that it's very difficult to deal with North Korea and people like that, mainly because... The inst there are very few things that link the culture, very few I I elements of common ground. They've been shut off from the world largely since the mid-50s, early 60s. Um, as early as five or six years ago, they were listening to Michael Jackson tapes as if they were new. So, I mean, that gives you some idea about where they are. Um, this is from Endgadget. Uh, welcome aboard to them. I don't think we've ever been on here before. Japan has delayed the Fukushima nuclear plant cleanup once again. The plant is now six years behind schedule. Well, it happened six years ago, so in other words, they've got nowhere! Should just say North Korea's got no freaking place in a year. There's been another delay in the plan to clean up the Fukushima reactor plant. The Japan Times reported today that the government approved another revision of the cleanup schedule that will push the removal of radioactive fuel rods from Units 1, 2, and, th one and 2 three years further down the road. This latest delay, which is due to nearly uncovered damage, newly uncovered damage in the storage pool, means that the cleanup is now six years behind schedule. Now, I don't know how many of you have continued to remain aware of this, but those of you that have listened to this show certainly have. <coughs> These are some of the most dangerous nuclear elements known to man. And they've been going into the atmosphere nonstop for, since March 11th of 2009. And that, that's what we've been dealing with here. Now, they told us uh, it was going to take 35 to 40 years to clean up. And the update on this is that now we, we are another six years behind, but we're, we've got nowhere is pretty much what they've said. They've got nothing to show for all that they've given. When you really break it down into actual um, 
layman's terms. This latest, along with the develop, excuse me, along with the developing a safe plan for removing radioactive fuel rods and melted fuel, even just getting a good look at the state of the reactor units has proven to be pretty difficult. In February, it took just two hours for extremely high radiation levels in the reactor's Unit 2 to destroy a robot sent into clear debris to locate the nuclear fuel, and the second robot <coughs> sent in a few days later also failed, though it was unclear whether that was due to the radiation or the debris. In July, a third robot fared a little better, snapping pictures of the melted fuel below Unit 3. Now, we have talked about this, but admittedly it has been a moment, so let me go ahead here and be very clear as to what we are talking about. Robots. No, 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 let me go. Robots. Shh, be fine, be fine. Rob Robots cannot be around the nuclear power plant. All jokes aside, it will cook the guts of the robot. Just, just like it would do to you. The electronics literally are cooked on a tiny level by the intense radioactivity that is spewing from this plant. They can't even put a robot in. And yet they're telling us that they can move these fuel rods. You can't even get near them. While fuel rod removal on Units 1 and 2 is now scheduled for 2023, debris removal in those units is still planned to begin in 2021. Unit 3 rod removal is expected to take two years to complete and is still scheduled to begin in 2018, though TEPCO, which is GE, which is why you should never invest in them and you should pull out of any mutual fund that you are in with them, the plant's operator then has another major issue to deal with. It still doesn't know what it's going to do with all of the radioactive waste that starts to come out from the plant during the cleanup. Decommissioning is to take between 30 to 40 years. Friends, there will be nothing left of us whatsoever if that were to happen, okay? Nothing whatsoever. Uh, word, of the, word of the day, advertise. Write advertise in my comment line if you're the first one to do it. And then you send your address. Don't put your address in the comment line. Send your address to the correct views at hotmail.com. And I, if, as long as I can see it in the comment line that you were first, I will send you something free and Christelle and I will autograph it. All that good crap. Because this is where your ad should be. The Seacrest Motel is closed for the season. And I'm looking for more advertisers. Should be you, shouldn't it? So the word of the day is advertise, and uh, moving on. <clears throat> Sky News. Fukushima fears a radio... <coughs> um, fear dying on air. Radioactive water has leaked from the damaged reactor. Oh, but they got it under control, right? None of us have anything to fear, right? All right, well, let's go to screen share here and see how much we're being lied to, shall we? Give you the facts. That's what I can do, friends. I can give you the correct views. Radioactivity contamin radioactive I can't read though. Radioactively contaminated water from Japan's damaged Fukushima nuclear reactor may have leaked, according to the plant operator. Yeah, may have. Enormous erroneous settings on water gauges lowered groundwater levels at half of a dozen nearby wells to three feet below the required safety levels. When groundwater at one well briefly sank below the level of the contaminated water in May, it might have caused radioactive water to leak into the soil. And TEPCO is, um, is the firm responsible, of course. Now, listen real quick what that means. Because you can hear it and not think anything. Think of this here. It's a hot pad, but we'll go with it. It's full of popcorn, I think. All right, you, you've got um, this pad. This is the ground. And when if I was to take water <clears throat> and pour this water onto this, it would leak into everything inside and ultimately down where my hand is. It would finally get through. That radioactivity, it, it, when it reaches my hand, that hand is the ground water. 
So if this is sitting on top of it, it takes the groundwater and it rains. And then it comes all back down on Japan again. And it sinks into the actual water that they are drinking so that the toxins that cause cancer and heart disease and everything can be given to all of us. And it can also wash into the ocean so that those of us in America too stupid enough to still be eating tuna can be ingesting everything that I just talked about. That's what they're saying. TEPCO spokesman Sinichi Yakakuki Naka, Nakakuki, I'm so good at Japan, to Japanese language, said that their samples did not show an abnormal increase in radioactivity. And leaks to the outside are unlikely. Oh, that's why the radiation levels have spiked. Sure, we can agree with that. Risks of a leak were unlikely because groundwater levels at wells dug closer to the reactors have stayed above normal safety levels, said Mr. Nakakuki. TEPCO has investigated the potential contamination levels that it observed. Potential. So, you know, it, it might be enough levels to hurt you. Then again, it might not. Uh, this, again, is this is from the Japan Times. It gives, them, it gives us another look at it. I'm not going to spend forever on this. But it said the discovery of falsely configured monitoring equipment. That means now they can't... Maybe they were wrong about how much radioactivity actually got into the atmosphere. You know, because we accidentally set this gauge wrong. Because nobody at the plant has any damn idea what they're doing. It said the number one power plant means that the groundwater underneath it might have gotten contaminated from April onward, said TEPCO. So people have been drinking water being told it was safe and the levels weren't even reading it right. The utility said incorrect gauge settings were used to measure the groundwater in six of the wells near reactors one and four. This resulted in groundwater readings about 7 cm higher than reality which means the beleaguered power utility has been mismanaging the groundwater there for months. To prevent tainted water from leaking from the plant, Tokyo Electric Power Holdings installed water gauges so it could keep the groundwater levels in the wells a meter higher than the contaminated water in the buildings. However, TEPCO adjusted amounts of water in the wells and called the sub-drains around the buildings to keep the groundwater higher than the tainted water inside them, which prevents them from flowing out. If groundwater levels sink below the level of the radioactive water, it might leak out. No, it's a physical uh, assurance that it will there, twit. On Friday, TEPCO said the estimated groundwater level in one of the six sub-drain wells was close to reactor one and fell below the level in the reactor building at least eight times during a five-day period to May 21st because the gauges were set incorrectly. Groundwater levels from 2 millimeters to 19 millimeters lower than the level on the buildings. In other words, another instance where all they've done the entire time is lie to you. And we've got one more to cover, friends, and it brings us to the Dumdy! The Dumdy of the day. And uh, unfortunately, uh, this hurts me to do it, but the, the Dumdy of the day goes to Donald Trump. Yes, you can tell behind me that I am a Trump supporter. Further, but I don't agree with everything that the man does. I think he needs to keep his ass out of Syria, for one thing. Well, remember before the election I had said that I was worried that he was going to be really friendly to the nuke industry? He has been. This is a disaster. I, I'm really, really let down here. I saw it coming. I, 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 I don't regret my vote over it or anything, but I, I promised to be fair and call him out when he was wrong, and I am calling him out now. This is the dumdy of the day because he's earned it. From Axios, Trump throws billion-dollar lifeline to the struggling nuclear power plant industry. This is awful news because he said he was going to be behind things that were effective. This is not effective. The Energy Department announced conditional loan guarantee commitments today for up to $3.7 billion to help a pair of financially struggling nuclear power reactors under construction in Georgia. 
The reactors run by Southern Company with other corporate partners have already received $8.3 billion in such loans from the Obama administration. Now, this is why it would be nice, and it's not worth getting, getting a Democrat in office to do it, but it's not. But how can he not see what a horrible idea this is? I mean, really. Nuclear power plants cannot exist unless they're subsidized by the government. That means tax dollars from you and you and even you and me. If the government would not do this, the entire nuke industry would crumble like a rusty lawn chair being sat on by a fat man. Instead, for some reason, and a lot of people think it's tied to the nuclear industry, the nuclear weapons industry, they keep getting money. Now, I don't necessarily believe that was Trump, because Trump would just say, I'm building up the nuclear weapons industry and I don't need a front, I'm just doing it. But just the same, this isn't good news. Says the big picture here, this move would help companies behind the project, but the broader nuclear industry is still facing a broader challenge, broader challenges. They like the word broader. Like cheap natural gas and concerns about radioactive waste that will make it hard for the sector to keep growing. The high cost and protracted, protracted process is talk, taking to get this project across to finish the line could scare away investors. Good. Don't invest. 1.67 billion for the Georgia Power Company, 1.6 for the Oglethorpe Power Corporation, and 415 million for municipal authority in Georgia. And this makes the total amount uh, 12 billion that's been loaned by the government the entire since the beginning. This is a disaster, and this is why, plan listen, backers of another nuclear power plant project in South Carolina have recently fell through and asked uh, for help and didn't get it, largely because they asked for a grant and did not give a loan guarantee. That's good. That shows that Trump is at least being somewhat responsible here. But the trouble is, if these plants get off the ground, then we not only have a meltdown risk, but what do we do with their waste when we're done? Because we don't know what to do with the waste on the plants that we have now. An energy official at the time hinted that Georgia reactors could receive federal support because the government has some skin in the game <coughs> from earlier loan guarantees. So there, it could be that the government has no hope of getting their money back unless they get these plants off the ground because they've already dug themselves in so deep. So they're just going to keep digging. Sorry, Mr. Trump. That's not the kind of decision-making that I voted for you for. Thumbs down, Mr. President. I've always supported you, but thumbs way down. Friends, you're listening to The Correct... I, I knew he was going to do it, and I told you I was going to bust him when he did it. You're listening to The Correct Views, friends. Uh, please remember that you can donate, because I really could use the money. I, the phone I'm recording on up there. I'd like a real camera. That'd be like Christmas to me. I'd like to get on the cloud so I could get Adobe Premiere and edit these videos. I can do all of that if you donate. And you can do it really easily. The correct views of Hotmail.com through PayPal. It means the world to me when you do. And hey, if you'd like to advertise, my rates aren't that high. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know, and uh, we'll work something out. You have my word on it. That's your massive Fukushima update, friends. Good night. God bless. You've been given.